Okay, so um, the reason this one was confusing is because it's kind of a kind of a trick question. Although you should remember from our discussion from you know the other lecture about um, alkenes. But uh, let's just go over. It says the following compound has only one stereocenter. Why then does it have four stereoisomers? So and they even point out the stereocenter to you, so you don't have to even go look for it. So you're saying, of course, right, that, um, well, it only has one stereocenter, then it should only have two stereoisomers. But um, that's the case um, uh, conventionally, I guess you should say. But um, in this case, we've got this alkene here. So if you recall, so alkenes are going to have those uh, two um, stereoisomers themselves, right? So, um, when we bond these two carbons together, we can have the H up there, unless you put the H there. So, of course, this is not um, very good uh, bond angle, right? Whatever. Okay, so you can have um, that geometric isomer there, and of course you can have the other one, right? Where these guys are in the same spot. But the hydrogen and the methyl group are switched. So in this case, you have the two big groups on the same side. So this is the Z alkene, and this is the E alkene. Okay, and then there's your stereocenter. Okay, and so for this one, you can have the R or and the S, right? So the R or the S. So that would give you two stereoisomers. And then here you're going to have the R or the S. So you got R, Z, and S, Z, and R, E, and S, E. That's why you've got the four different stereoisomers. So, I don't know, let's draw one of them and figure out which one it is. So what do we have there? Carbon. We'll just put these two as our hydrogen. So the hydrogen's already back, right? So the bromine's gonna be one. So this one's carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon. So that's the same. So we gotta go to the next one. This one's hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. This one's carbon, carbon, hydrogen. So this one's gonna be two. That's four. That's three. So if we go, right? That's counterclockwise. So that's S. Right? So that's the S. The S E. And then the R would be just switching these two. Let's do it up here. Okay, the R is going to be like that one. And so that one's going to be the R. And then if you switch them, that would be the SC. Okay, so that's the answer to that question.